Which Mary Jane? This Mary Jane? Oh man, Mary Jane said, "Overpower a grown man." <laughs> Bang, man, motherfucker! She take it. <laughs> I'm Mary Jane. I'm Mary. I'm the incredible Mary Jane. Did you just shoot me? Ah! <laughs> it's jobbering time. You didn't just say that. You did not <laughs> Hello beta testers. Why is Insomniac Games racist? They invented Spanish words that go directly against what the culture prefers in the hope of normalizing what they consider a more progressive version of an existing language. This isn't just woke, it's as tone deaf and boneheaded as it gets. Insomniac Games should be ashamed of pandering in this blatant a capacity, and they should be ashamed of packaging their agenda in content geared towards the youth in the hopes of brainwashing and indoctrinating these children to their culturally revised view. The hell is beeping. It's louder than it's normally ever been. I've shown you Disney's gender politics meetings until you're sick of seeing it. Good. I've shown you Larry Fink needing to force behaviors, and I'm sure you've grit your teeth. Good. Everywhere I look online to gather sentiment, I see Caitlyn Jenner's face. Absolutely everyone hated Mary Jane's stealth portions, and you made your voices heard. I'm proud of you, beta testers. That didn't matter to Insomniac Games. They heard you didn't like it, but the agenda demands a strong woman. So... A boy like Mary Jane, aged up of course, can now overpower men. Her stealth portions return, not singular, portion, plural. There are multiple, which would be like doubling the Riddler trophies and extending the Batmobile sections in an Arkham sequel. ESG Mary Jane sponsored by BlackRock wasn't enough. Using willing Latinos as tokens in your Latin extreme pandering wasn't enough. The white saviors working at Insomniac Games have decided that their new version of your language is better and more progressive, and even in the midst of their pretty women and cultural exclusion, they'll make sure you know how inclusive they are. My name is Kyle. Black enough for you? Black Lives Matter stole from the very communities that they were supposed to help. This shit you're putting in your fucking game is cringe. And it's, it's tripping into a territory now that I am absolutely ashamed to witness as a comic book fan. Not of the garbage they're making today, but of the long-lasting quality content you hacks clearly don't understand. You know, Insomniac, you're the last people that I want making an X-Men game because you've demonstrated an incompetence and an inability to grasp the concept of equality. I consider you villains so hell-bent on selling your product that you desecrate anything so long as you could spin it for woke points. If it's not sacred to you, you're not a nerd, and you have no business near a property that greater men than you have crafted well before you were born. Properties that have effortlessly stood the test of time without being vandalized. The intelligent men before you knew not to fix what wasn't broken. Removing sex appeal from comics or anything is idiotic. But the blatant erasing and replacing with your deliberate if incremental removal of the dinosaur from Jurassic Park is exactly what's killed the comic book industry. You think I'm going to allow it to happen again to my gaming industry? I'm not alone. I don't need a single person listening to me to believe or promote my message because time will tell. That clock's been ticking for your dumbass. A history you people are too stupid to reflect and respect is a history you'll be doomed to repeat. Venom plus Tony Todd 
Sounded like a dream come true to assholes like me, but colonizing a culture's language because you know better, even when the majority hates it, bitch, you're the villain. Mary Jane Stealth again is, is not just a middle finger or a spit in the face to the fans, it's beyond political bullshit and escape entertainment that people are paying for in the midst of mounting war on all sides. God forbid you cocksuckers unite and give people something to bond over and talk about instead of injecting <laughs> divisive trash. From Insomniac Games, we previously expected a love letter to the fans, but now we know Mary Jane could never be a bombshell in your game, Felicia could never be herself, not in your game, and Insomniac can never, ever faithfully represent an X-Men game, because a Jean Grey, an Emma Frost, a Mystique, even for the love of God, a storm could never exist in your soy-drenched ESG bullshit. An unsexy, mediocre, boring storm? If ever you wanted woke summed up in one truth, woke won't even allow black women, which they refer to as people of color, racist. <laughs> they won't allow black women to be attractive, full stop. And to play devil's advocate, oh, this girl doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look though so bad. Doesn't look that bad. You got to say stupid shit like that. Producer here, they passed over 20 prettier girls before they chose whoever you citing in your stupid ass example. If it's a game character, whatever you're seeing is the final iteration after a series of downgrades. It literally gets uttered out loud that this girl is too pretty, too eye-catching, too busty, too thin, too thin. Thick. Girls getting turned away because their ass is too fat? <laughs> You're all gay. <laughs> and that doesn't profit because your demo isn't all gay. The nerd argument, unfortunately, is us recognizing that you're fucking up a recipe. You're fucking up a formula that will greatly diminish the impact and popularity of the final product that's been making it this far because it's remained, for the most part, exactly what the fuck it is. These morons are looking a gift cow in the mouth and uh, demanding a new diet for the cow and then you're shocked when the milk tastes different or worse, the milk dries up completely. You people did this. You're rendering things less profitable, less likable. You're extracting the appeal. You're not nerds. You don't know people with basements full of things that are depreciating because of the ignorant decisions of dyed hair, gender studies lunatics that fancy themselves freedom fighters and justice warriors braving the harsh current in a storm. <laughs> to us, you're just standing beside the river of stupid and saying, yes, I'll drown. I'm a funny man because I'm as attracted to joy as I am dia-sized tits. My intention now is to laugh at the insufferable and hilarious assumption that you types thought you could out loser comic book fans. And you're actually pretty successful. I mean, we'd never just make this shit unprofitable. I'm heartbroken because Spider-Man fans deserve better. They deserve acceptance and unity, not division. And that's what you're delivering by rewriting another culture's language, you racist fucks. I've been reached out to by a great number of people, and I felt their passion and love, not specifically for the material, but for the way that it's made people feel. They're artists, they're creators, and I am well aware that the Sarkeesian era entities sleeping around in the industry, if they can get any with their ugly asses, are very hell-bent and overjoyed to destroy. I personally know the pronoun types throwing parties and laughing at people that they've harassed into punching their own card out or being forced to leave a job they were passionate about. The way that I feel now is the way that I know that they delight in making people feel. Congratulations. I hope it pairs nicely with whatever party you're going to throw. But beta tester, I've no numbness. Maybe you have too. And I'd give it all to spare others this 
feeling. I've made mistakes. We all have. We're human. We share that bond. We are united. I would never want someone to ever feel ashamed, like they don't belong, like what they're born with or have, their difference, means that they should be excluded. I know what it's like to go to school and be right, but be forced to jump through the hoops anyway. I know what it's like to be shut out because I'm rejecting the narrative. <laughs> Between nerds, so much is unspoken, but this isn't us. And I can admit, maybe it was selfish when I wanted games to be fun for me. But now, I'd love it if these games weren't chock full of woke garbage. I know that this is how you want the kids to grow and speak. You want to rewrite it because your version's more progressive. They are to accept your narrative, your Bible. Because if they don't, you'll ostracize them. Are we getting that right? Your cancer. Insomniac games and I promise I'll make sure they understand that even when you are listening you're not <laughs> Same girls dominating TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube with their at a glance This girl must not even have to touch doorknobs in her life ass boy That's why Kyle talks titties At a glance you can see whether Real equality is even possible, whether fun is on the table or if the whole development staff, they're compromised by people sucking the joy out of life. You're joyless racists. You've been projecting on us, all those words you've been throwing at us, It's it's been you the whole time. Whatever. And this fight hasn't even properly begun. So, beta testers, thank you for listening, thank you for liking. I don't want to talk your head off. I can't imagine just how awful it's going to be and how awful it's going to get, but we'll face it laughing because <laughs> because that's what they want to take from us. To the patrons and sponsors, please forgive me. I, I'm shocked. Not that shocked, given the Sony beating men with a roided out freak woman, lesbian kiss and all of their games bullshit. Of course, Felicia's gay. Of course, Spidey's retiring for the, do you know what I mean? Jesus Christ, man. It, it, we can predict all of this shit at this point. And that's why the writing's on the wall and the clock ticking for these motherfuckers. How are we? It's reached like, it's worse than a Twilight Zone episode. Go back and watch a Twilight Zone episode right now and you can guess the plot for most of them and they'll smear that 10 minute plot over this long episode and it was a different time. But you could, you, could you get away with that now? Well, an analogy I used to use was, would you buy dial-up for the same price as you pay for the internet that you probably have access to now? The answer is no. They want to lower the bar. They want to try to convince you. Oh, well, they, you, you, it's the shit. No, no, no. 